Okay, so this is uh, looking at the report, July 16th, uh, layer one. The source of stress is your thyroid. Uh, and looking at the database, that's also the most affected on that layer. And it's balanced by combination of thyroid support, one a day, usually taken early in the day because it's energizing and one vitamin D synergy. That could be with any, any meal, it's fine. Uh, interesting, the vitamin D uh, has a big effect on the parathyroid. That may be the connection, not 100% sure. Uh, could you know do some research. It would be interesting to see the, uh, why vitamin D balanced the thyroid. I'm sure there's something, vitamin D has, is, is not just a vitamin, it's a hormone, very important hormone. So it, it does have many effects. Uh, but that was that was curious. Um, then layer two, oh, on layer one, anything else balanced? No. Just, so we've got the thyroid, which is our long-term energy metabolism, uh, basal metabolic rate. And the second layer, interestingly, is the adrenals, which are the short-term uh, metabolic rate uh, booster. So we've got energy as the theme on these first two layers. The uh, adrenals were balanced by sublingual 7 keto. It's very typical for repairing the adrenals if there's been a lot of stress or exposure to the steroids, you know, internal adrenal produced steroids from stresses or from, from, uh, from uh, pharmaceutical steroids. Uh, and on that layer, once you balance the adrenals, oh, first, the, the most affected by that adrenal stress source was the kidneys, which makes sense. Uh, oriental medicine doesn't even distinguish the two. The adrenals means on top of the renal or on top of the kidney. So it's uh, really integrated with the kidneys. And so balance the kidneys on layer two. And it also balanced circulation which <clears throat> kidneys are very sensitive to circulation, so maybe kidney-related circulation could be uh, affecting systemic as well. And well, if the kidneys are affected, that affects systemic circulation almost by definition because it's the high-pressure filter of the blood. So if the kidneys are stressed, that tends to affect blood pressure and circulatory regulation. Uh, right, those... Oh, it also balanced the uh, phase three terrain, which is fungal or regenerative terrain. So I'm thinking probably hopefully regenerative terrain. We didn't see any particularly fungal, no directly fungal indicators came up uh, and uh, could be well be uh, some regeneration of the thyroid and the adrenals, that makes sense. Uh, so the uh, also the terrain in the stomach, the uh, in terms of the epigenetics, so the which genes are turned on and off in the stomach. And the stomach and kidney are quite related. They use the same exact enzyme systems, so we see a lot of correlation there. And uh, it also uh, ties in with the next deeper layer, which was stomach meridian. Uh, so stomach meridian was both the head and tail, so the the, the beginning and end of the stress, mainly in, in the stomach meridian, uh, which goes all the way from the second biggest toe all the way up to the eye. Uh, balanced by neuromega. Just going to correct a little. It's with an M, neuromega. Uh, uh, two capsules a day, which is the normal maintenance dose for omega-3s, which are uh, so many effects. The, the cell membrane of every cell, it's what turns light into electricity. Uh, it regulates the immune system, so it's anti-inflammatory. Uh, many, many good effects. It's the main uh, fatty acid in the eye and brain. Then, uh, so on that layer, that was basically what balanced was the stomach meridian. And then we had layer four, uh, the energy in pharmaceutical uh, was was the layer. It was the the stress the most affected and the remedy. So energy in pharmaceutical turning on again follows that theme that we started with the thyroid and the adrenal uh, energy. And uh, that was layer four. 
just gonna key that in. Um, layer five was ED4, the nerve driver, so energy in the nerve cells. Again, energy, nervous system was layer five, and that was the, uh, if we look on the database, that was the head, the tail, and the remedy again. So just really clean, clear signals like, hey, here's the thing. We're going to turn on these healthy genes for energy and nerve cell energy in particular. So it tends to follow the reverse sequence of how you got there. So the things we're working on now, these old patterns that are being reversed and cleared, uh, may have started with uh, depletion of energy in the nervous system, went to generalized energy depletion, uh, and then uh, some kind of issue with the stomach meridian, which is an electrical energy channel. Uh, that typically, most typically in the nest system, they see and that affected by heavy metals. So it could be, we're not seeing that specifically, but could be, and the fact that it goes ultimately to the thyroid, uh, most most often there we see uh, mercury, the most symptomatic of all the heavy metals anyway. Um, that could be a, a sort of an underlying th theme that we're, we're correcting. And that fits with uh, potentially fungal train, but regenerative train once you get the bulk of the mercury out, because mercury poisons the immune system, allows fungus to overgrow. Fungus uses the mercury to keep the immune system suppressed. So it looks like it might be going through some regeneration coming out of, of that, uh, that kind of pattern. If we go back to the previous test, we were working on gallbladder meridian, uh, a no soda affecting the kidney, the kidney again, the train in the nervous system, psychoemotional sleep, energy, energy depletion. So yeah, uh, the energy depletion pattern was at a minus one, and, and that's no longer. That was the, the deep deepest core last time. So it looks like we're now uh, moving deeper, older, clearing prior uh, energy factors that, that led to that energy depletion. So hopefully you'll be feeling more energy as this uh, continues to work on the regenerative phase now. If we look at the, the phase, it was phase two last time. So that's a nice progression in you know, the, the, the normal. And there's all kinds of variations, but that is a, a good normal progression of healing from phase two to phase three. From rejuvenation, getting the cellular function back to regeneration, being able to actually produce new cells, whether that's in the thyroid, the adrenal, uh, those seem to be the main organs. And again, they're the main organs to, that regulate and, and boost body energy and, I mean, cellular energy for all the other systems. So there we go. That was a uh, nice, nice, clear test. Not a whole lot of different stresses, just very clear uh, progression of, of going to the deeper and older stresses, clearing those out, regenerating.